Afternoon, morning, evening. How are we doing all? Okay, going to show you a few clips from the um, Academy game last week against Ferrar under nines. And it's just literally, this is to give you a bit of an indication of how, what we're trying to do when we're trying to play out, etc. Okay, let's just see if I can make the screen a little bit bigger. Don't know if I can. Okay, so basically just a little bit. I'm going to play some clips with no lines. So I want you to see what do you see. So this is our goal kit playing out. Okay. Now let it run through. Yeah, go through it again. Just you tell me what you see, guys, rather than me say to start with. Okay, now I'm going to do some ones with lines on. OK, so this is what I see. So there's my goalkeeper on the ball. Are we having a scan? Looks like you're looking this way. OK, and the reason I put the little line there, if you see the white cone there and the white cone there, that's the touch line. So we could be a little bit further wide. Now, this might be being picky, but that's still two yards wider. OK, also this side, we're, we're literally on our penalty box. So there's the white cones out there. We could be a lot wider this side. I then look at my goalkeeper for decision making. Your body shape is showing me that you're going to play that way. To me, I've got two players this side and none of them. Now, I know they're set up three down the middle so as they can press whichever side the ball goes. But what I'm saying, if we've got two this side, that may be a better option. OK, but listen, you've got to make the decisions on the pitch. This is just to try and give you a clear indication. So first of all, for me, it's... Two defenders got to be wider to make the pitch as big as possible. This play a little bit higher to drag them away. OK, then as it goes out to my fullback there. OK, to me, the first touch is fine. He's touched it in. Maybe look at you, Kai, where you've come straight away. You're inside the penalty box now. We're in possession. We have to be braver. So if this comes back to Zach, Zach could open out, receive it on this back foot and come out this side. Great, you've received it on that back foot, Zach. But what you need to do, your body shape needs to be facing this way. Because if you look at it, you're facing the same way as it's coming from. That's going to be harder to open your body. Now, I know it's always a risk, and I'll play it again, OK? Because I know it's always a risk in terms of when it comes back to you now. If he plays it across to you now, the risk is that that ball goes across your body and into the goal. I don't care. I really don't care because it's getting you to open your body up and play out this side. I'll share this with um, Sean, the goalkeeping coach as well, so we can do that. So when it comes back to you, the player, Kai, Kai, I think, should be out this side. And then you can play it out that side, if that makes sense. And if he and if he's not out this side, yes, you have got a narrow angle. But ultimately, he should be out this side. And then you've got an idea of where it is. OK, Jet, last time we'll play it on. OK, if it had come out the other side, we could have gone out, out that side. That's just just a little idea. OK, we've got another one. OK, again, with no lines on it. So, again, we're playing out. Kai, again, look at your position. You've tucked in. You need to be out there to give us options. They've gone narrower now. So they've gone on a horizontal line. Again, we could be out on the touchline. Don't rush these goal kicks. They're crucial. It's our time. Do not rush them. OK. They get a shot off. I'll play it again for you one more time. Tell me what you see. Think in your mind what you're seeing. OK, now with the lines on the pitch. OK, again, I'm looking at this. So, again, we could be a little bit wider there. Again, wider back out here to give them the angles. OK, but it's OK. Now... Your first touch there, can that be on the back foot? A little bit harder pass from you, Zach. Receive it on the back foot. If not, that's fine on the right foot. To me, you actually do look. That's the first pass you see. Nine times out of ten, it's the correct pass. If we play it down to there, we're in a great position. We don't. We hesitate. And now you're going to come back. Now, if you are going to come back, and it goes back to my keeper, we need to be dropped back out there, and we can come out this side. Hesitate a little bit, but now you're actually looking as if you're going to play a risky pass across there. Because if that breaks down, look at the danger there because we're open and expansive. So that has to go back to your keeper so we can see the whole pitch in front of us. As it happens, Zach pulls off the save. OK, so I'll just play it out without me talking over it, guys. Okay, go to another one. 
Here we go. Okay, again, another one. Goal kick. What do we see? What do we see? Okay, I'm going to put it with lines on it. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, here we go. You've taken your time, Zach. I love that. I'm pausing it there because that's where you're going. Look at his body shape straight away. You can stop. There's no rush. Sometimes dummy it so you'll see where they're going to go. Okay, that's the one I want to look. Maybe a little bit deeper there so you don't get the press. Kai is deeper this side. He's out here this time, which is great. There's a big area there. And if I went onto the larger screen, you would see that we've got a player in this area. I don't know if I can. I'll try it. So I've gone interactive. There you go. And I'm going to pause it. So now if I'm looking at that, I've got a player there. And if you play it safe side, which when we say play safe side, it means safe side where there's no man. So if that ball is played to this area, I've got a player this side. And then we've got Kai who stayed wide this time. Maybe the ball into him, bounce off him and we come out this side. Does that make sense? Because if you look at it predominantly, they're overloading that side. OK, just go out of the interactive and back in. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Okay, these are just little ideas, guys. It's not saying, obviously, it's right because we're looking at it after the event. But, um, right, we'll go another one with no lines on. Okay, again, to me, we've got a goal kick. Now, Zach, I'm looking at you there. You've run and got the ball. Are you rushing this a bit too much? Bang. You've seen something. You're going with it straight away. Okay, I've played the one with lines. I'm going to play with no lines, first of all. So what can you see? Are you rushing this a little bit, Zach? Take your time. Take your time. OK, you've seen something and you've gone for a pass. Almost got there. Not quite. Great effort, that, by the way. OK, now we'll go with this one. With lines now. OK, so again, don't rush. They're still pulling their socks up. Don't rush. Don't rush. OK, stopped it. Whoa, I stopped it there because I had two of the lads. I'll go back five seconds. OK, now look at it. You've got a player there, which theoretically should be there. Don't switch off. Go back to that sort of area. I've got two players this side completely unmarked, but you go in this side. OK, which is your decision. Here we go. Now, to me, we've got one, two, one, two, one there. Sorry, two there, three there. And fourth player is coming into view there. Now, that's a great pass. You've got it to him, but that's probably 20 yards. For you to control that ball then has to be perfect touch, but you're 4v3 in this area, almost 4v2. So, you, you you know, you're restricting your opportunities and that's what potentially can happen. OK, so just if we just play it again, I'll just go back to do it again. And I'm going to go interactive because you'll see the bigger picture. OK. Again, see, look at it now, Zach. We got two at this side, V1 of theirs, and they've got one, two, three, four, five players locking onto the right hand side because they've worked out you'll go in right hand side because you're predominantly right footed. Okay, we play it on a little bit. Just as you go to kick it, I'm going to pause it. Now, that's a great pass because you can see it. But like I said, it's a 20 yard pass. If I pass the ball to you or any one of your mates passes it to you from 20 yards, it needs an exquisite touch to stop it dead. He's on the travel, so he's going to work on his first touch. Whereas we come this side and we're 2v1. Does that make sense? Okay. But listen, it sounds like I'm hammering you a lot here, guys, and I'm not. I'm just, I want you to kind of recognize these type of clips. I always like to end on a high. So let me try and find one to end on a high. Here we go. Okay, so we score from playing out from the back, okay? Now, 
people could say, well, you're not playing out from the back. The keeper's gone long. The keeper's gone long. So are you playing out from the back? Are you? That's that's a question. It's open-ended, guys. I'm going to show you now with lines on it. Okay, and I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go interactive because I love seeing the big picture. It's amazing. The more you do your coaching, you you want to see the whole picture. So I'm looking at that as the big picture, and I think, right, okay, they're going to they're, they're trying to press us now because we're going to try and play out, okay? And that's the pass that has gone short. You can't see it because I've got my highlights on screen, but we've gone short. Now I look at it. And look what we've got there. We've got a wide player. We've got a centre forward. So for me, we're 2v1. And I'm just going to roll it on. Now, all of a sudden, one, two, three reds in the line of one, two greens, maybe a third one. So to me, it's the right option because that's the correct ball. It's not a long ball because they're leaving one at the back and we're open. I'm saying we should go long. We should. So it's not a long ball. But now I'm going to go back to the little screen and just talk it through. OK, little one year. So we're drawing the press. What I would say a little bit harder with that one, Zach, but this is a fantastic decision, Zach, because there you go. I don't know why it's doing that on screen, okay? But again, that is a great decision to play out, and I want to do it again. I'm going to show it again, because what I love about this, what you do when you play out from the back. Please go back to the start. Thank you. What you do when you play out from the back, the idea of playing out from the back and people say, why do you play out from the back? Oh, I, it's so annoying. It's doing that. And apologies. Every time I pause it, it's doing it. Why do we play out from the back? Because we draw them a little bit forward so as we can get in behind them. So I'll do it without the no lines on it. It's not going to do it then. OK, so why do we play? It? <laughs> why do we play out? We draw the players in. Now we're going to beat them. There you go, over the top of them, because they've all come forward. Guys, listen, fantastic performance, and it seems critical of me to bring these up, but I just wanted to share them with you. I think it's massively important. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you, guys.